Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Ted, hanging out with the colleagues today. I'm Nate. I'm Dave. Ryan. And uh, today we're going to bring you another exciting edition of Fast and Dirty Monsters. And this one, uh, you know, is, you know, pulled from the depths of my knowledge. You know, year, years ago I was involved in a LARP. I made a bunch of monsters for it. So today I'm going to pull one out of that and, and pull it into 5th into edition. So the idea is basically a elemental cat. Um, the focus is on on lightning. So you basically have a what looks like a tiger that both breathes and uses electricity. Is immune to elect electrical damage. Um, well, we're talking five V, so it's lightning. Oh, lightning! My apologies. Um, I went went generic. Um, you know, but the thing is, you know, you know, huge like a tiger, but. You know, for, for, for this, its body is going to be, you know, made of, like, clouds. And dark storm clouds. Dark storm clouds. And the actual markings of the tiger would literally be, like, lightning. So you'd so, actually see it. So you, you had a, uh, you took, you, you, you pitched your idea to me mm -hmm. of this, this basically very, uh, um, this 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 lightning cat, this mm -hmm. lightning tiger, and it pretty much is more like a, a prime material type being. And I was like, well, so we did a little little re envisioning, a little more D and Dizing it, right? To to make it well. What if it was more like a parallel mental creature, mm -hmm. and the, its body was actually made from the storm clouds, and its eyes were lightning blue, and mm -hmm. the the markings on the tiger markings were actually you know the lightning itself. And so we went from there to, to create this creature that could, could stalk through uh, not only the elemental planes, but the, maybe into the prime material plane to really uh, give your player, players a hard time. Right. So, you know, usually when we do Fast and Dirty Monsters, you know, we're, we're looking to just pull the information right out of, you know, your, your already created and balanced monster manual. Um, sometimes we, we grab it from two sources, sometimes we go to just one. So here we're going to do a little bit of a mix. We're going to use our base as the tiger, which is on your monster manual of 339. Um, you know, and that's going to give you, you know, a pounce ability. You know, it's going to give you his, his bite and claw and all your basic stats. But we're gonna need to add some some elemental flair for it. Some element of elements. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. So, so I would I would actually merge the stats and take the best of the two mm -hmm. to make I, it more yeah, fearsome. Yeah. So we're also looking at the Hellhound on page one eighty two, and the Hell. And matter of fact, their stats actually match up pretty evenly. But the Tiger has a higher dex. Mm -hmm. uh, but everything else on the Hellhound is is a little bit higher. It makes a a, a challenge rating three. Um, the Hellhand already has an immunity to fire. It's easy enough to say not fire lightning. Right. Um, it's intelligent. It has keen hearing and smell, which which I'm totally okay with. Our this well, being slightly better than a regular tiger. Right. Uh, it also has pack tactics, so maybe you know maybe these things actually do hunt you know hunting small groups. That that could definitely you know fit. I mean, um, cats tend to be solo hunters, though. Is that like a thing or uh, lions? Hello, lions. Yeah, uh, and they, they can though. M yeah. Many of them are, but then again, we're also talking about this cat has is intelligence of six. Mm. Right. So they're you know they're not stupid. Much, much better than the you know the three over here. Uh, yeah. Stupid tiger. <laughs> so what what do, what does the hellhound get as far as a breath weapon? It uh, has a breath weapon that recharges on a five or six fire nice. breath. We just change it to lightning. Lightning. Um, it's a 15 foot cone, which we could easily take a 15 foot cone, make it a 30 foot line mm. uh, instead. A dexterity save, DC uh, 12 for six die six lightning damage, or half half as much on a successful save. I think that works really nicely. And if you're wearing metal armor, you disadvantage to the save. We could do that because it's friggin' a cone of lightning or a line, line of lightning. lightning. Well, all right. So lightning bolt technically that doesn't. Work. Shocking yeah. grass does that. Yeah, but lightning attacks. bolt, but lightning bolt doesn't. So I don't know how bad you want to hose over. Like this is like somebody's got a massive AC, you know, because of armor, and you kind of want to ring them. They already knock got a couple desks. Decks probably anyway. Yeah, yeah. You want to knock them down. On, if you want to knock them down a notch, we can give it this. Well, I say, yeah. I say rather than do that with the lightning attack arc, I think it's actual attacks. Do you, do you have the, like, was it disadvantage or you get well, advantage? Well, oh, here's the thing. The bite of, um, of the Hellhound also does fire damage. Mm. Oh, so right. we change that to lightning damage. So what is the what is the bite on those guys? Does it is a die eight plus two die six. Okay, so this is a D ten plus three. Um, so we could definitely go with that. 
Yeah, so I, I feel like they're doing plenty of damage. They get a plus five to hit. Uh, the the breath weapon, even if you have a lot of armor classes, they're going to hit you anyway because right. it's a dex save. Mm -hmm. right. So you're at least taking minimum of half damage. Mm. And I, I almost want to, due to the nature of these guys, give them resistance to non-magic weapons. Yeah, mm. I could see uh, that. Yeah, you know, because they're basically, for the most part, incorporeal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, so you're gonna need a little something a little more. Oh, I don't know if that would, if Bump that's enough up. to push them to a CR four or not. Well, given the higher stat spread, yeah. You know. I, I, well, I would say you know if we're if we're looking at that as the as the base, I don't think that's gonna be enough to to really push it, um, to to push it up. I really think that this this addition, you know, really has a lot of abilities that just add the well, you count as magical for this. Um, yeah, well, that's true. I mean, so. or maybe you just give it like one other like interesting ability or whatever, and like that pushes it to a four. Like maybe some sort of like limited teleport or like a like because yeah. like lightning moving, like right. kind of lightning thing. dash. Yeah. Um, so, but you know, that being said, like lightning immunity to uh, lightning instead of fire is actually a step down. Mm. Yes. Because there's far more fire attacks than there are lightning lightning attacks. Right. Mm. Uh, so I so we could say that. The resistance to non-magic weapons is just the compensating, yeah, 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 compensating, compensating for something, are we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so I, I kind of like that, you know. Uh, um, so, uh, or if we even wanted to even out, we could always get rid of pack tactics and say they are solitary hunters. Right. Mm. Uh, in you know, in my you know envisioning, you know, they typically you know did. Um, they, they were encountered, you know, solitary. I mean, part of it was a was a, a costuming thing, and part of it was you know somebody who could actually. You know, pull off the pull off the creature, um, but every so often we did you know, we did put them out there in pairs. Um, now the other thing about it, you know, was that you know, since they were you you know rather unique looking, um, you know, I had had you know, you know, if you actually managed to, to to slay one and had its hide, you know, there was you know some kind of you know advantage. Um, to being able to make something out of it. Well, well yeah, magic components, absolutely. You know, now if the if the thing is literally made out of a storm cloud, um, you know, what you know, is there anything to be able to say about doing something with that, or are they maybe, totally just maybe the heart? Maybe the heart is some kind of crystal or or gemstone that it leaves behind. So you have like a lightning heart or a, you a, know a magical non melting hail heart. That's what it's made out of. Some kind of crazy storm thing. Oh yeah, a piece of magical hail. Yeah, you know, That's like bad, by bad, itself, yeah. or or you could even put into our setting if we have more elemental things. Like there's a thing that maybe makes them flesh, like a ritual you could do, so that you could like harvest, actually harvest like the materials of it that wouldn't fade away. Like it'd probably be kind of evil to do so, <laughs> or sketchy to like basically trap something here so you could kill it to it, harvest parts. It might even be as simple as that. Hail heart lets you summon. A creature like that again. Well, you can just do like, use it to like, it's like make a focus or something. Or like make maybe that. there's spell research you can do that would actually give you the ability to summon that as a certain level of spell. Or make or make magical items of you know related yeah. to lightning, related you know, to lightning, resist yeah. resistance lighting or lightning, or lightning or whatever. storms and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's so. I'm sure that the um the, the tiger gets some sort of like pounce ability. They right? get pounce and they have a plus well, six to stealth. Well, so here's my thought, right? Um, with like. Since it is pounce and it's going to get all of its attacks, like you're upping the amount of damage dice it gets because of the, light. so like it becomes a significantly more of a threat um, than the hellhound because of that pounce ability with all that added. Uh, uh, they're going to have extra attacks and you know and more damage, so I don't know. Maybe that puts it at a CR four for that fact. Um, I guess so. One of the things too is. So the Hellhound is a medium creature, right? Mm. The tiger is large, so yes. I'm thinking we're going to bump our Hellhound, our Blitzorn, to a large. Mm. Yeah, I would. I would say that definitely fits. Which would increase its hit die, and it's also going to have because it's it's because it has more hit dice because the Hellhound does. It, it actually increases its its proficiency bonus, mm. so it's actually like that. Um, I believe, so. That would actually increase the stealth by even more. Mm. So, so, so the instead of a plus six, I'd probably have like a plus eight to stealth. I, I, just off the top of my head, I have to go through, do the math, and figure it out. But the reason why I bring it up is because 
I see these like uh, you know since we're getting rid of the pack tackets, we're gonna say they're they're basically a, a solitary monster, and they you know they hunt as an ambush predator, and you know on the prime material plane they generally appear when there's storms, mm -hmm. which I, I imagine you know they probably have some kind of immunity to um, the, the that, like. Uh, um, the conditions that would be applied to trying to see in a storm, mm -hmm. like I think that would be like like it'd be like, like native environment to them. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. yeah. So like they're not going to be hampered. So you know, the, the chances are when you encounter them on the prime material plane, you're a disadvantage. You're a disadvantage to, to perceive them, mm -hmm. um, and they're already going to be really good at it. So so like so the idea is like you know the, the, the it's possible that a storm heralds the arrival of a blitzorn. So now the only question is, is if they're if they're here to hunt, what what you know what is their real need to hunt? Are they hunting for, you know, for for prey, for consumption, for sport? Well, cats can actually be sadistic, because um, cats are terrible. No, um, because <laughs> they can be sadistic in their hunting, where they'll like toy with their prey. Right. You know, like they they kind of cats. They're not can, sadistic; they're playful. No, okay, yeah, right. So cats <laughs> can just hunt. don't value lesser beings. They can they they will toy with like a mouse. Like they can hunt for sport in a way. So maybe that these same things. And this is a more intelligent creature. And also so. maybe they are attracted to metal because well-armed adventuring parties. Mm. So like because like attraction of metallics or whatever. Yeah. Like almost it, like lightning oh, it's shiny. rods. It's lightning rods. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it shiny. does bring them. It does bring them to. And everybody to knows Blitzorts crave electrolytes. Yeah, and people and, have electrolytes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> electrolytes and shit. It's the thing that plants crave. Yes. Yeah. And Blitzorn. <sighs> Brondo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, so that would put them into conflict with adventurers. So that's nice. Or need, people in general. <laughs> well, I mean, but people, well, armed and armored people. Like, well, that's true. Maybe, maybe they have you know an ability to perceive or sense things that lightning would be drawn to. Yeah, I know it was brought up as like a funny thing, but what if that's what they actually consume is like minerals in things, like like moisture and minerals in things. I only meant it tongue in cheek, but honestly, yeah, the idea is that's why they would consume living things for the electrolytes that 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 our bodies actually need and possess, and also those minerals as well. You know, we, so they want to be interested have, in the flesh. So they would actually be consuming the liquids in people, like vampires. Now, well, maybe, maybe, but like you know, living things give off a uh, you know a bioenergy signature. You know, you ever seen like it's what is it Stephen King? Um, all the short stories. There's the one where the they the, you know the 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 thing is the cat steals your breath, but it was actually another monster, and the cat protects you from the monster. Mm. But in this case, maybe the monster really is the cat, and you know <laughs> after it defeats you, you know it, what it does, it does consume your like your essence. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that energy, it, it absorbs into itself. Yeah, and it's not like it's particularly evil. It's just that's how it, like, it gets that, sucker. Yeah, it, it, that's, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, it is. It's not, it's not like a soul eater. It's it's what, what keeps you, the stuff that keeps you alive is what it's taking away. Yeah. And, like, on its native elemental, elemental plane, like, there are, like, electric things that it would just consume. Mm -hmm. Electric bunnies. Rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With drums, with drums, dude. dude, dude. And, and it's not in its natural, in its natural environment. They do actually have to hunt in groups because those electro bunnies are fierce. Well, the energizer bunnies are, yeah, they're vicious prey. Yeah. It takes a whole pride of them to bring down one because it keeps going and going. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's oh a relay God, team. It's coming right for me. Well, this is going, you know, wonkers. Uh, yeah. So with that, let's take it out. Hey guys, what do you think of the Blitzhorn? Our, 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 our cloudy lightning cats of chimes of discordia let us know in the comments below why you're at it like share and subscribe you can uh hang out with us over on facebook you can check us out on nerdarchy.com just join the conversation over on reddit so until next time stay, stay nerdy, nerdy.